हेलो एवरी वन सो टूडे आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट इन जीरा एंड वेन आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट आई नोटिस दिस दिस न्यू थिंग आई मीन नॉट ओनली अ न्यू थिंग बट आई थॉट आई प्रॉब्ली मेक अ वीडियो ऑन दिस बिकॉज आई थिंक दिस इज वेयर एट लाशन इज बी बी ट्राइंग टू अट्रैक्ट न्यू यूजर्स or someone who is coming from another tool so we all know that in jira if you have to create a new project you can go on top and if you have the rights if you are the administrator and if you are trying to create uh, a company managed projects you can actually click on the create project uh, option but on this particular page there is something called as uh, import data now if you click on it you will find three options and uh, let me talk about all all of these options the first option is let, let us start with the import into new or existing software project so let us say you want to uh use jira for software software development you will click on it and then it will take you to this uh, documentation or not really documentation but on your jira instance it will take you to that particular particular system import jira import uh, page where you have the option to import from uh, csv or uh, trello or json i mean csv is of course the most popular so this is fine i guess uh, this is something that we all are uh, aware of the last option is import to a new or existing service management based projects so maybe there is a way to maybe there is a connector so if i click on it it is again going to take us to the same uh, option same page and uh, basically you know what they are saying that okay use csv import so first of all csv import works really well i mean i should say json import is probably better but json import is of course a bit difficult to configure for everyone if you are not aware of how jira works then it might be uh problematic but csv import is still manageable so what you can do is of course you can uh, always use csv import but maybe there is a connector maybe at lashan because they are now uh, showing these options let us see what we have now if you try to import to a new business project which is basically jira work management it is again showing you the same thing okay select a file to upload which is basically a csv file but on the same page you have different options like jira so maybe we can import from another jira instance let us click on it and it says uh, direct import from jira is coming soon okay trello direct import from trello is coming soon okay google sheet direct import from google sheet is coming soon so basically the same thing and uh, i guess it will come soon uh, and uh, probably it will work nicely i mean good thing about jira cloud is that uh, because jira cloud is controlled and uh, because you know the way jira works on cloud you don't really have access to those extreme customizations anyway so i think uh, import export should be manageable as compared to data center but the thing is that right now you still uh, your best option is still to use csv import and by the way if you want to learn csv import i have actually made uh, like couple of videos and i also shared uh, my uh, template and configuration file for example uh, if you look at this particular uh, post jira sample data uh and learning csv import so basically what i have shared here is the uh the github repository where you can uh, find the uh the, the data that you can use for example if you look at this uh, csv file jira software data you will be actually able to i mean it's a simple example it will, but it will of course help you to understand how it works and once you have done couple of simple csv imports then i think you you'll figure it out so i think csv import is still even in 2023 is uh, the best way to import data to jira and when i first started using uh, jira or when i first uh, when i first when i was asked to first uh, deploy jira and migrate users from one tool to another tool like dct um uh, i actually relied a lot on uh, csv import because it works it is uh, of course not really straightforward you have to spend 
lot of time on the CSV, uh, f- sometimes the formatting and of course, you know, the data itself. But once it works for CS- for simple imports, it is wonderful. All right, that is it. Uh, I thought I'll probably talk about this because uh, hopefully soon we'll be able to import directly from these tools, right? And uh, that would be exciting. All right, that is it. That is it for uh, today's video. I hope. I hope you found this video useful and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.